I'm your host, Michael Yerby. It's another lovely day in Shreveport, Louisiana. We are five hours away from New Orleans, three hours away from Dallas. And I'm just one minute from getting in your butt if you haven't gotten up to start your day. Welcome to the Breakfast Boost. What's up, Boosters? It's your main man, Michael Yerby, back with episode 12 of the Breakfast Boost. You know we're here to kickstart your morning with that good vibe energy. Today, we're hitting with something real, talking about multitasking. Yeah, you heard it right. We're about to bust some myths and keep it 100. But first, let me hit you with a little something to lighten the mood. All right, check this. What do you call a fake noodle? An imposter. <laughs> I know, a classic dag joke. But hey, you got to keep it light, right? Now, let's get down to business. We're diving deep into why a million things at once might not be the key to winning. It's all about focusing on what really matters. So if you're trying to cook breakfast, answering emails, or plan your day all at the same time, this episode is for you. We're about finding out why slowing down and doing one thing at a time could be the secret sauce to success. Let's get started. Hey Boosters, Michael Yerby here, keeping it real with you on the Breakfast Boost. You know how we do it. We start our mornings with that wake up wisdom. Today, I got a quote that's going to hit different. It's from the main man, Dale Carnegie, who dropped some serious knowledge bars back in the day. Check this. The hard jobs first, the easy jobs will take care of themselves. Now let that marinate for a minute. See, what Dale is saying here is all about getting your priorities straight. It's like when you got a mountain of stuff to do, right? You might think doing a bunch of easy things first is the move, but nah, that's where you trip up. Knocking out that big, tough task first, that's the game changer. It frees up your mind and everything else just flows. This ties right into our main dish today, the myth of multitasking. When we try to juggle a million things thinking we're getting ahead, but are we though? That's what we're breaking down today. We're focusing on one major thing at a time that can flip the script on how we handle business, our creativity, and even our daily grind. So whether you're tuning in while you're getting ready, on your commute, or just chilling, let's learn to tackle our biggest challenges first. Everything else is just gonna fall into place. All right, boosters, it's time to dive deep into the main event of today's episode, the myth of multitasking. This is where we really break it down. You know, multitasking sounds dope, like the master DJ spinning multiple tracks at once. But is it really cool as it sounds? Let's peel back that layer. First up, what is multitasking really about? It's like trying to text, make a sandwich, and watch your favorite show all at the same time. Seems effective, right? But here's the twist. Science says it's a no-go. Studies have shown that when we think we're multitasking, we're actually just switching between tasks super fast. And every time we switch, there's a cost. Our focus drops and mistakes creep back. Now let's get real about the impact. You ever feel more stress when you're trying to do a million things? That's multitasking messing with your vibe. It doesn't just drop the quality of your work. It's like a heavy weight on your mental health too. We're talking increased stress, Feeling overwhelmed, all that noise? No. But hold up, it ain't all doom and gloom. There's another way. Picture this single tasking. It's about giving one task your full and undivided attention. Like when you're in the studio focusing on laying down that track, everything else fades out. This is where you hit your stride, where the magic happens. I got some tools for you too. Ever heard of time blocking or the Pomodoro technique? These are game changers. Time blocking is like setting VIP appointments with each task. And Pomodoro is a simple hack. Work solid for 25 minutes, then take a five-minute break. Keep repeating. It's about working smarter, not harder. Before we wrap up, let me drop some practical tips. Start by picking just one task. Give it everything for a set time. No distractions, no side hustles, just a task. Feel the difference in your focus 
your stress levels, and how much more you get done? So that's the real on multitasking boosters. It's about quality over quantity, focus over frenzy. Remember, every big dream starts with a single focused step. Let's make those steps count. All right, Boosters, it's that time of the show where we hit you with the Booster of the Day. You've been vibing with me on this journey about the myth of multitasking, and now it's time to put those words into action. We're all about the real change here on the Breakfast Boost. Here's the challenge I'm throwing your way. I call it the Focus Challenge. For the next week, I want you to pick one task each day, just one. Give it your all for a set amount of time. No phones, no distractions, just you and that task going one-on-one like Michael against LeBron. LeBron winning, of course. Whether it's writing a verse, planning your budget, or even organizing a closet, whatever it is, lock in. Notice how it feels to give that undivided attention? How's your stress levels? Are you vibing differently with your task? I bet you're seeing some real results. And you don't keep this to yourself. Share your experience with the whole squad. Hit up social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you hang out online. Use the hashtag Breakfast Boost Focus. Let's make this a movement. Show the world how focusing on one task can elevate your game. Remember, it's not just about getting things done. It's about how we do them. It's about finding that groove where you're at your best. This focus challenge is your first step. So let's do this together, boosters. Let's show them how it's done. That's your boost of the day. Keep pushing, keep focusing, and let's make every day count. You've got this, boosters. All right, boosters, we're winding down to the end of today's journey on the Breakfast Boost. It's your host, Michael Yerby, and we've been all about busting the myth of multitasking today. Let's do a quick rewind on what we covered, because you know it's all about those takeaways. We dove deep into why trying to do all things at once might not be your best move. Remember, flipping between tasks is like trying to spend too many records at once. Eventually, the beat gets mixed up. Focus on one thing at a time. That's where you find your rhythm, where the magic happens. And don't forget that focus challenge. Pick one task, zero in on it, and see the difference it makes. Share your stories with us on social media. Breakfast Boost Focus. We're building a community here, a place where we lift each other up. Next week, we'll keep the momentum going. We're going to be diving into understanding procrastination and how to overcome it. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. It's all about turning those I'll do it later vibes into let's get it done now in it. Before we bounce, here's a shout out to all of you who has focusing on one single task, change your workday. Slide into our socials and let us know we're all on the top spots. Instagram, Twitter, you name it. Your story might just be the boost that someone else needs. And hey, if you feel what we're putting down, share this episode with your crew. Subscribe for more of that good, good content. And join us each week for your morning boost. You're not just listeners, you're part of this Breakfast Boost family. And just like that, we're at the end of another fire episode of The Breakfast Boost. I'm your host, Michael Yerby, and it's been real walking through the best of multitasking with you all today. Hope you're walking away with some gems and amp up your focus game. If today's episode hit the spot, don't keep it to yourself. Spread the love, share with your people, hit that subscribe button for more of this good stuff every week. We're here to kickstart your mornings and to keep you boosted. And don't forget to follow us on all socials. We're talking about Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the top spots. Drop us a line, share your thoughts, your stories. We're all about that community vibe, building this Breakfast Boost family together. Next week, we're jumping into understanding procrastination and how to overcome it. You don't want to sleep on this one. Until next time, keep shining, keep striving. And remember, your morning sets the stage for your day. Make it count one morning at a time. Stay boosted, family. 
Peace.